great to know that there's a problem with your heating and air system before you actually have a big problem. In today's video, I was able to catch up with some of the folks from Daikin and get a behind the scenes look at some of the products that they offer that no one else has. So here's Jim and Jim, Jim Cahill and Jim Lowell sharing what exactly is One Cloud Services and why a homeowner should want it. Daikin One Cloud Services is the solution that lives in the Daikin Cloud for Daikin contractors and Daikin homeowners. What Cloud Services is or does is essentially it takes HVAC equipment that's connected to the cloud, and it can see how that equipment is running. So it can start on day one with a commissioning report that can be run when a contractor finishes an install that just validates, hey, everything that us at Daikin have tested and proven that this equipment can do is what that piece of equipment is doing at the consumer's home when the installation is done being you know, set up and configured. Ultimately telling the consumer, this is the, uh, the system that you purchased, and it's going to run in the way that you would expect and deliver the comfort you would expect. For a contractor, what this does is it can provide insights and clues if there ever is something that goes wrong with the system at a homeowner's home. So if a homeowner calls you and says, hey, my system's not running well, or it's not keeping up, or it's doing something weird, uh, contractors have lots of stories about getting these, these calls where it's clear a homeowner is unhappy with the performance of the system, but in a lot of cases, they don't have the, the vocabulary or the tools to capture the information that's really necessary to help solve what that problem is. What Daikin One Cloud Services does is it actually passes alerts to the service provider connected to that piece of equipment if that piece of equipment ever performs in a way that is outside our tolerances, making sure that the homeowner doesn't have to worry about is that working right? Is it doing what it's supposed to? And it allows the contractor that if it ever does get outside of those tolerances, all you have to do is look at your computer and you see, hey, this was the error code that happened. This is when it happened. You can look at how that system ran before and after that and start the troubleshooting process before you even have to go on site and identify whether or not that's something that you need to bring parts for. Maybe it's not the new tech that you send out. Maybe it's the most senior tech you have, depending on what you see. But there's all that data and that information about the system, both at the time that something, uh, an event happens and you know before and after it, that will help you deliver the highest level of service. Keeps you and the, the homeowner nicely connected together. So you focus on what you're great at and the homeowner doesn't have to worry about the HVAC equipment. They just know that it's going to keep them warm and keep them cool when it's supposed to. From a homeowner's perspective, everybody's probably fairly familiar with the fact that there are apps that you can have on your smart device that you can control your system and, and turn the set point up and down remotely from, from your sofa or from your car on the way home or whatever. And, and that's possible through this cloud connection that, that, that Jim Cahill was, was speaking of. The same data going to the same cloud, if, if the homeowner chooses to share that information with their contractor, that now allows that same data that the homeowner is seeing when, when they make adjustments to their system, it can give the contractor access to that information as well as additional, more technical information that a homeowner may, may not know about or, or what to do. I, I'll tell you a quick little story. We had a contractor in uh, New Jersey who got a call on a Sunday night uh, from a customer he was, sit he was sitting on his sofa watching TV and got a, got a call from his customer saying that the uh, system they just installed the day before wasn't putting heat out in New Jersey in February. So that was, that was, a, that was an issue. Contractor pulls up his phone, gets the uh, cloud services app up and running, takes a look at that customer system and realizes that the uh, heat strips in the uh, air handler had not been configured properly. And so he was able to do that over his phone. And the customer said, while, while they were on the phone with that contractor, the homeowner said, hey, I can feel heat coming out of my vents now. How did you do that? That was magical. And the magical part of that is really what we're trying to get to. So, so, so that homeowner doesn't have to take a day off of work and sit there and wait for a contractor to show up. In many cases, not every case, but in many cases, a contractor can fix a problem before the homeowner even knows there is a problem. That's what we're striving for, to keep those systems up and running no matter what the conditions and do so with as little disruption to the homeowner as possible. Yeah, I uh, I can tell a, a, a little story with that as well. When 
the one cloud first came out, we were working on a fit and I will say most of the fits that we install, we install them and the customer becomes a stranger again. Right. But this was one of those ones where I was a couple head scratchers. I was like, I'm not really sure what's going on here. And one of the tech reps from Daikin dialed into it and he's made a couple tweaks. And then all of a sudden it started blowing cold. I was just blown away that he was able to just dial into it, make a couple tweaks and we were off and running. Let me ask each of you, why would somebody want the one cloud versus not? It's good for a homeowner to have their equipment connected to this cloud and to let their, their contractor of record, somebody they know and trust, the, presumably the contractor that installed that system in the home, let them have access to the data about how the system's running. That's a good thing because your HVAC system, when you invest in a brand new HVAC system for your home, it's probably the single most expensive thing you put into your home. The peace of mind that it gives you, knowing that your contractor has access to what's going on with your system, can make changes as, as you request, can make updates and, and, and do all of that remotely, that, that'll give a homeowner a lot of peace of mind. It's your largest investment for most homeowners. It's something that they're only going to do a couple of times. And you want to know that that's going to be be working and functional for for a long time. And if you have to wait until something breaks to to figure out that there was a problem, that's not a great way to to do uh, to do it. So Daikin One Cloud Services allows that homeowner to have that peace of mind that the manufacturer's cloud is is really watching over the piece of equipment that's installed at their house. And if it needs anything, you know, if we can see something from the data that's coming to us, we're going to notify the service contractor and the service contractor takes it from there and make sure that the, the homeowner remains comfortable and, and that system's up and running. I'll tell you one more advantage to this. Um, we, we've, we've talked about advantages for the homeowner and advantages for the contractor, but for Daikin, this is all very advan advantageous for us too. And I'll tell you why we've got tens of, maybe even 100,000 systems that, that are connected to the Daikin cloud today, that we've got aggregated data about all of these systems coming in that we can look at and see. There's a lot that we can learn in our own laboratories where we test the equipment here when we're designing it, but to actually have it out in the real world and being able to see what's going on with these systems, see what's going on with tens and twenties and 30, 40, 50,000 systems at a time and how they're reacting to different conditions helps us do a better job of designing equipment that can do a better job of keeping homeowners comfortable. One of the things that I think all manufacturers deal with, now we want to, we want to believe that, you know, all contractors are great. And, and, and when they install it, there's no such thing as human error. But uh, I think a lot of manufacturers are up against this fact of they, they, they are, you know, selling a great product, right? Daikin is selling this amazing product, but sometimes the problem isn't necessarily with what Daikin did. Maybe there was some human error with the installation. And I, one of the things I think is really cool about OneCloud is, I'm not saying it eliminates that, but at least it helps a little bit, right? I mean, wouldn't it be great to find a way to eliminate all the human errors? At, l at least this is another way that, you know, especially if you have one contractor that's installed 100 systems, it'll allow, you know, someone from Daikin to say to that contractor, you need to go into one cloud and you need to fix all this. You don't have to go to every single house. You'll be able to fix it remotely. And then all of a sudden, all the systems start running like they were supposed to, to start with, you know? It's well known in our industry that, that there's, a, there's a technician shortage and it's getting worse. Folks like you are not getting into the HVAC business uh, as, as, much as, as much as in the past. And so there's, there's a shortage of technicians and there's especially a shortage of really good technicians. Um, anything that we can do as an original equipment manufacturer, an OEM, uh, to help a contractor not only be more efficient and effective with their time, but help them do a better job of servicing their homeowners. Well, we want to do that because it's helpful for our industry. It makes, it makes those technicians that are out, out there more effective uh, and, and, and improve the quality of their work. So that's it guys, what do you think? Love to hear about that down in the comments section below. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where I went behind the scenes with Daikin and showed the largest HVAC manufacturing facility in North America. 
Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.